Hey, welcome back. Uh, my name is Emmanuel, and I'm working with Francisco. In uh, our last video, we showed you how to install a Dempier, how to where to download and uh, where to install, how to install Postgres, uh, Tortoise SVN, Eclipse Galileo, and also how to change your environment variables to be able to make paths to all of those um, programs that we installed, as well as Java JDK 1.6. In this video, we're going to show you how to first start to run a Dempier for the very first time. Uh, how to set up your Tortoise SVN, as well as how to set up your Eclipse Galileo. So we'll start off with how to run a Dempier for the very first time. Now, when I first, in the last video, I showed you to drag over all of your files from a Dempier after you've installed it into this Dempier folder right here. So what you want to do now is go into the Dempier folder, scroll down. You want to run this right here, Run Setup. So Double-click Run Setup, and this will pop up for you. Now, uh, you've got to change a few of these. Some of these are going to stay the same. But one thing you want to make sure, you want to show your Java Home. It's going to be the James Java Home where you've got Java installed. Now, if we pull this up, go to our C file, program files in Java. We can look at under JDK 1.6 is where we've got Java installed. So I can just really right click and copy here, go back, and then paste it in here. All right, uh, Java, J, uh, Java VM is going to stay in Sun. Our Dempier home is where we've got a Dempier saved. Uh, that's under C drive, a Dempier. That's where I drop that file under. Now, this is, again, this is where you've got a Dempier saved, but as I said, drop it into the C file, C folder right there. Key store password is going to stay the same. Now, your application server is going to be the name of your computer. Uh, again, I'll revisit this. If you right click on a start menu and go to system, you can actually see. The name of your computer name this has to be an exact name otherwise it won't work so make sure you copy that over into this application server server type should be jboss jm port jmp port should be 1099 ssl443 now again you should have to change these web port the same thing is 80. now the things you'll have to change is your database server is going to have to be local host your database name is going to be a dempier uh, database port. Now this is the same way you set up in Postgres. It's 5432. Database user is going to be Postgres. Uh, the type is Postgres SQL. This is going to be the password you set up when you set up when you ran Postgres for the first time through the installer. You set up a password in there. Mine is Postgres. My password is Postgres for the database and the administrator password. So you change that and make sure that's what that is. Um, and then your mail server is going to be your name of your computer so once we have all these in we want to run test it'll pull up your command prompt window and what you want to look for i'm sorry there's a command prompt what you want to look for is actually all these check marks all right once all of these have been checked if you have an error it'll pop up and it'll stop checking so it'll run through and it'll stop checking so if this is incorrect i'll show you real quick let's say if i do this i run test It'll give me an error because it does not use location. Notice how this isn't checked right here. I can change that back. C, run test again, and no errors come up. So I go ahead and save it. And this is this is what's running in the background right now. Perfect. Now that it's save, I click OK. We'll let it. This may take a while right here. We'll let it save all of the details. All right, once it's finished, you can tell right here, look at build successful, zero errors. So now we know that part is finished. So now we go back into a Dempierre C drive. Uh, now we did um, run setup. Now we go back into utilities. There, we scroll down and we look for run import a Dempierre. This is what's going to bring over all of your tables that you need in a Dempier, about over 700 tables. So we're going to, to click any key to continue, and we'll let this run. Again, this will run for a little bit, so I'll probably fast forward through this as well.
Perfect, now we see that this is finished. We can press any key to continue. And to confirm that that has run correctly, you can go ahead and run your Postgres pgadmin3. Now I have more than one database in here, I've gone a little bit further. What you want to do is double click, uh, open up your databases, go to your, I'm sorry, your Dempierre database, go to your Dempierre schema. You can see that it's successfully imported all the tables that you need. All right, this is the way you confirm that it's successfully imported. So now we can go back into a Dempierre and we can finally run a Dempierre. All right, now we want to confirm that our server is going to be correct, so we can click this. Again, our application host is going to be your name of your PC. Your application port is going to be 1099. Your database type is going to be Postgres SQL. You can make sure your database host is local host. Your port is 5432. Your database name is a Dempierre. And your username and password for that is Postgres. Postgres is what I've set it up as. Let's go ahead and test the database. Get a green green check mark, click OK, and then we'll give this a second to turn from red to white. Perfect. The check mark. These are your roles you can sign in. Now we sign under system system. Uh, you can sign under garden admin as well. Um, but then we can click the check mark here. Database version error, just click no. It'll open it up. And you've successfully run a Dempierre. Now we want to go ahead and connect from a Dempier, let's close this out. Let's go ahead and connect our Tortoise SVN as well. And to do that, what we want to do is create a new folder first. So let's go back here. Dempier created a new folder. What I did is I created a folder at Dempier 360 LTS. And what we're gonna end up doing, so let's let's do a quick run. So if I do new folder. Call it Dempier LTS. We right click this and go to create repository here. And then click OK. We'll create a repository. I'm, I've already done this, so I'm not going to do this again. And then we go to Tortoise SVN, we go to import. And we're able to drop in, I'm sorry, not import. My apologies. Right click SVN checkout. Now, our URL, a repository, uh, is given to you in your, in your um, cookbook. I've gone ahead and copied that here. So you can look here. This is the repository that you want. You can pause the video and make sure you copy this directly. And so what you do is you take this. You can copy it. You can drop it right in here. Paste. And click OK. And your checkout directory is the one that you've just set up. I'm sorry, this creates a new one, and you click OK. What that'll do is it'll run through an installer. You're going to bring everything down that you need. Now, I'm going to pause the video here, and we'll start up with the second video after this finishes. This will take about 10 minutes to finish.